you better mind how you run around. Don't watch yourself, I'm gonna let you down. She's mine, oh, girl, I declare she's mine, oh, mine. She's mine, oh, girl, but you never for some reason, the, the blues music just is soul music. If there's one thing that makes Furman Harris happy, it's the blues. I just started getting a deeper appreciation of that real down-to-heart soul music, singing about their situations, their hard times, their broken love affairs, their run-around girlfriends, or their hard liquor. His garage workshop wouldn't be complete without posters, albums, and a reel-to-reel -reel player hissing out vintage tunes. During an afternoon of woodworking, melody mixes with imagination, and suddenly Furman is whittling the hours away in a backwoods juke joint. If people love anything, they love music. This kind of looks like your man cave in here. This is my cave. This is my, my getaway and my premise right here. This is where you spend a whole lot of your time? I spend a lot of my time right here. Berman's latest project combines his vocation with his passion. After a career of machine shop work, this retiree decided to, quite literally, make some music. His down-home creations are like nothing we've ever seen before. It's a body, and it's hollow. It's a resonator. See, that's the key right there. So when you attach uh, all the homemade parts to it, uh, then you can actually get some acoustical sound. I'm not a, a real luthier, but I'm a man that's got a lot of time and a, maybe a creative mind at times. And I dream these up before I ever start them, what they're gonna look like by looking at a cigar box. Is that what that is right there? This is a cigar box with a frame around it. That's right, a cigar box guitar. Now, this isn't some computer design factory cut, machine polished piece of mass production. Each one is a handmade, homemade throwback to the early days of Furman's favorite music. These are a makeover or a reproduction of the early blues guitars that slaves and the plantation people didn't have the money to buy a factory guitar. So they supposed they took cigar boxes, a broom handle, and screen wire off the screens and stretched it across that broom handle and they actually could play a tune. I think they sound uh, real kind of homey and down to earth sounding. It doesn't have all that loud uh, reverb and uh, flashy sound that the modern uh, guitars have, you know? Furman's guitars don't just sound different, they look different. In addition to cigar boxes, he uses found objects like jewelry, screws, and door hinges. Each carefully crafted instrument is truly a unique combination of odds and ends. What they lack in polish, they more than make up for in personality. I think they're all one of a kind because they're all homemade with a lots of tender care and patience. What is that made out of? This one right here is made out of a Russell Stover Valentine candy box. When this box came with full of candy, every time you took the lid off to get a piece, it would play a little tune. And it went like this. You think Elvis collected any royalties off of that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that, Bob. Well, they might not be a 1958 Gibson Modern, but a Furman Harris cigar box is just as impossible to get. Despite frequent requests, he won't sell his handiwork. But if the right person were to call, he just might be willing to make a deal. I don't want to make a job out of it. Man, I've had those already. So at 73, I'm just, uh, I'm just making this my hobby. In the future, who knows? Uh, if I got a special request, 
I might be interested. If Brad Paisley calls you up, do you yeah. mind building one? He said, if he calls you up and says, hey, uh, uh, Furman, I'd like to have one of those Elvis Presley guitars. I say, I tell you what, Brad, if you can find that box, I can build you the guitar. <laughs> For now, it seems this East Texas Guitar Center has just one customer, the owner himself. That means long days, high standards, and plenty of time to tinker. And for guitar maker Furman Harris, that's music to his ears. This is what I do to spend a pleasant day right here. Doing what I want to do, creating what I want to create. Most of us uh, feel like we need to leave something behind. And uh, this just could well be my legacy, these homemade guitars. <laughs>